Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings, Ali Shandwa here. Welcome to my little main cave and uh, RC talk and RC preparation for an exciting RC FPV wing for long range FPV flights, obviously. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about Rambler RS White Edition. Yes, people thought that the project is dying and not moving forward. Yes, we hit, we hit some obstacles, but alhamdulillah, we are moving forward. We have a US dealer who is going to have his stock very, very soon. And I'm gonna leave the link in the video description so that you can find and buy Rambler RS from our US dealer. Yes, uh, it is It is a thing that I do miss long range FPV flights. I remember I used to be a robo pilot with a patch antenna on my back and a backpack and everything else I used to fly long range with Skywalker and other planes. But now I'm not flying a long range FPV anymore for which I'm going to do a complete video telling you why I do not fly long range FPV anymore and you should watch it so you find out the answer and don't be curious why Alishama is not flying long range FPV anymore so don't miss that video. Maybe it's time to get to a new style of FPV wing flying and you're gonna find out very very soon. But before we go ahead, before I bring the camera closer to my messy table and talk all about a Rambler RS wide edition and what equipment I'm going to use, I want to tell you about a new exciting tool that plugs into YouTube right away it, it enables you to live chat directly with me host a YouTube video watch party with your friends or watch videos directly with me and chat live at the same time you can also create and host live chat rooms public or private on any topic the tool is called discussion bar I am on discussion bar and you can find me and chat with me directly live and in my chat rooms we are RC pilots and FPV whooper the link to download discussion bar is in video description so go ahead check it out and you can find me there let me show you what the Rambler RS white edition is like if there is any change or not honestly speaking I do not see any changes in the design the design is still the same is that we were having troubles with black and white foam mixing and you know uh, let's not talk about the other things anyway so i'm happy the white version is here the the thing that i see different is that now they have added a very nice uh, foam a sticky type a very nice soft foam under the fuselage that will protect your plane upon a landing the fuselage will be protected upon landing uh, because now they have this foam here rest everything is same I don't see any design changes on it okay uh, this vertical stabilizer is still here and will stick with a double-sided tape which is already provided there there's a small plate form here for GPS okay and still inside lots of lots of space man lots of lots of space and you have a camera mount right here which type of camera well I will show you right here I use normally these types of cameras with this mount so this mount comes with the Rambler RS and you can mount this kind of cameras you can install these kind of cameras really quick and easy now let's talk quickly about this camera why I like this camera this is the Firefly Q6 camera I love it because not only it can shoot and record HD video up to 4k 30 frames per second but at the same time I can take uh, AV out video out right from the USB port and use it as an FPV camera at the same time and also I'm powering it off the uh, power battery the main battery that is powering the plane and electronics and everything so I never worry about the battery running out in this camera so I'm, I'm gonna use this camera anyway to fly FPV and record HD videos so you say you're talking about how much space you have inside the fuselage a lot of space I plan to fly with a single forest 3300 million battery for testing purposes and later I can even add two 3300 million batteries or two 5000 million forest batteries to fly long range okay and uh, obviously let me just take it off from here because right now I didn't put the tail uh, at the back right here ESC 
motor of, of course will go here and plenty of space for your flight controller right here so there's not, not no change in the fuselage as I mentioned and similarly there's no change in the wings wings are still here okay similar ways you have a place for the uh, carbon spar or for glass fiber spar that will go in and obviously you can install the uh, servos of your choice you can install the FPV video transmitter in the wings both wings actually have the place for uh, video transmitter installation. Also LT has provided you with nice stickers. I simply love these stickers man and especially these eyes here. They're gonna look really nice and the cat stickers. So you can actually you know customize your Rambler RS with this one. Uh, apart from that Rambler RS inside the fuselage you will also find vortex generators okay. Uh, a double sided tape so that you can install the grills on the nose if you don't want to use cameras or if you are using different type of cameras you can cut and paste you can actually cut those grills and customize them there's also uh, this kind of uh, wrapping for servo cables so you don't make mess In this little bag you have two antenna tubes connecting rods and screws that will hold the wings together first off you see I have got myself the R9M from FreeSky access version the newest version R9M so I'm gonna get the receiver for this one and obviously fly the plane FPV with my uh, you know FreeSky X9D plus SE radio control. I can also fly with my XJT model right here and using the L9R receiver. That will give me 8 km range, which is more than enough. But still, I would love to fly with the R9M this time because probably it's more secure than 2.4 GSC frequencies. After that, for the flight controller, yes, I have got here the SN Navy flight controller okay this is what I'm going to use to fly let me give you a quick look at it okay one moment this one has ah, airspeed sensor awesome we have M8 we have M8 and GPS we have a PMU and I was thinking and you were thinking that this Navy I mean in pictures it look really big but it's really nice and small, almost size of SNL actually, like it's thinner as well. Anyway, so this is SN Navy that I'm gonna use and another thing that you might wanna find is this right here. I've got this SN Auto Antenna Tracker as well that I will use with my SN Navy and you know, it will track the plane and keep the antenna focused. And for that, I also have got myself the new SN Sentry Antenna. 14 dbi patch antenna which will fit on you know this uh, antenna tracker right here and track the plane and give me a very good reception all the time but i have no lcd so i plan to use my old Ishin fpv video goggles i will plug the uh, antenna the sentry antenna right here in this one and probably just stick this uh, you know antenna tracker right here so that I can mount the LCD on a tripod with the antenna tracker on it and fly FPV with this one basically I was also thinking to use this directly on my video goggles and fly long range because you can use your head to track the plane way better than the antenna tracker and it saves you from costs of buying antenna trackers and also it saves you from uh, setting up additional headaches I also plan to use the helical antenna which was sitting very long time here in my desk. Alright, thank you very much for watching this video. Now it's time for me to prepare this baby. Once it's ready, it's definitely going to look really nice. Let me talk about, before we end this video, yes, after it's ready, I'm going to fly it completely manual. No flight control install. That's the best thing you want to do. Take my advice. When you are preparing a long range FPV plane or any kind of FPV plane, do remember that first fly it without any flight controller and learn about its characteristics, its flight performance, tweak it, see where it trims out really nice, see where it stalls, see where it behaves bad and see where it behaves sweet. After you have done the manual flights and you know everything, you will be able to install the flight controller and set your FPV plan in a perfect way, the way you like it. Stay tuned for manual flight testing of Rambler RS White Edition FPV wing and don't forget the big bad boy of FPV swept forward wing wings is coming my way. The aggressor, the aggressor 1200 millimeter.
can't wait to get that one in the air too. Stay tuned, exciting content is coming on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Well, like the video many times and share it with friends and family. And why not watch this video and many other videos live with me and chat directly live with me on a discussion bar on YouTube. Check this out. The link is in video description for discussion bar as well. support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button